Hey folks, welcome back. It's Jerry once again here at Hilltop Firearms Training Center, Dover, Tennessee. Thanks for watching. From the year 1989 to right around 1995, the only holsters that I used on a regular basis were constructed of leather. Now back in the 90s, you didn't have a lot of other choices. You had, of course, like the military canvas holsters. And I remember when the line of ballistic nylon holsters came along and people really seemed to like them. I had several of them. Uh, some were made from various companies uh, using Cordura and other, other types of materials. And I just never felt the holster had the quality that leather had, nor did it have the fit and the finish. So back then, you know, I tried these other holsters, but pretty much primarily leather was for me the only way to go if you had, uh, you wanted to seriously carry your firearm and have it in something of good quality. Now we flash forward to today. Past 15 years, the only holsters I have used on a daily basis have been constructed of Kydex. So many companies out there making some really great holsters. Kydex has sort of been a game changer. It's very moldable, uh, very custom fit for whatever you're, whether it's a magazine pouch or whatever, uh, even they're even making tourniquet carriers now for out of, you know, Kydex. But every once in a while, a product will come along and sort of catches my eye. And I'm gonna tell you folks, it's been a long time since I've had any type of leather holsters in my hand that I felt were worthy of even looking at. Well, that sort of changed recently when I received this wonderfully crafted holster by a company called Sword Slinger Holsters. Now they're down in Louisiana. And what I would like to do in this video is I wanna kind of take you along for the ride. I wanna show you the craftsmanship, the quality and the attention to detail that goes in these handmade, hand-fitted holsters. And I want to post all the information about the company. I really think you should check these folks out if you're looking for some high-quality, well-made, charming, personal leather that uh, will last for years. So we're going to do a tabletop review of what goes into the construction and the materials and the work and the, and the artistry behind this holster. And then we're going to take it out on the range and do a little shooting with it. Stick around if you'd like to see what we've got going on today. All right, guys, so from Sword Slinger Custom Holsters, this model here is known as the Maker's Choice. This is their outside the waistband holster and probably one of their most popular designs. I can definitely see why. I want to take a look from the top down from the holster mouth looking downward. Notice how it has this beautiful angular curvature to it. That means it's gonna ride up close and tight to the body. And that's something you're looking for. If you're looking for a concealable holster and concealability is an issue, you want the holster as close to the body. Even a large frame semi-automatic 1911 Beretta SIG, it's gonna ride close, high and tight. And that's what you're looking for. Now I'm gonna try to see if the camera will bring us in tight. Yeah, look at this. This is hand sewn double nylon thread. Look at the attention to the detail that they put into these holsters. Look at this. Amazing. Um, you're looking at a holster that is hand cut leather, hand dyed, hand stitched, hand molded, you know, and high quality vegetable tanned cowhide. That is why you have such a, a hard durable, rigid sheen to this holster. I want you to also take a look at this. This here is known as the stiffener or the reinforcement panel. Now this is gonna aid in keeping the mouth of the holster open. And um, that was something that I noticed over the years. When I did have various makers of holsters, um, sometimes you know the draw was clean, but trying to get the gun back in sometimes after it came out would try to collapse on you. This of course will not. You're looking at years, a lifetime of use for a holster like this. Now this color here is actually a proprietary color that they mix up themselves. They mix this up. This is called blood stain. But in addition to this, they offer a lot of other colors, one of which is, of course, just basic black. They have saddle tan, uh, saddle tan dark brown, chocolate, and mahogany. I personally love the way the blood stain color mixes with the black. It's just very complimentary, especially with the black um, nylon threading as well. That just looks so good. 
Now, here's another thing I, I just want to show you. I'm going to compare this to another holster maker, and this is not to put this holster maker down. Okay, this is a very good quality holster. I've had this holster for a long time, but I want you to notice something. Notice how pliable. Look at that. Now, this is for a little revolver I briefly carried back in the day, but this is one of the high-end better manufacturers of leather. They've been around forever. And just noticed how, look at that. It's night and day compared to that. That is just stiff. It's, it, it retains its, its shape and rigidity so much better. The corners are so reinforced. Everything is just beautifully done. And, and I'm not trying to put this holster down, but when you look at the quality, this right here was quickly made to make, you know, to meet production times. And they were, you know, it's basically made in a factory type setting. There's nothing that compares to uh, the artistry that goes into one of these. Look, look at the difference, folks. I mean, you could just tell the, the difference in the quality and the attention to detail. This was not hurriedly made. This was handcrafted and it took time to make it. Uh, that's something we don't see a lot anymore. Now, here is their single mag carrier. Of course, this is set up for me. Uh, once again, follows the same curvature, beautifully done. And I wanna show you something. And this is just one of those little details that's important to me. Um, I've always liked to run my magazines, if I'm running it on my support side, handguns on my strong side. I've always liked the, the, the tip of the bullet to face my belt buckle. The reason is, when I go to do a reload, I'm indexing my round. So I really like that. And once again, the same quality and attention to detail goes into here. Just, just beautifully done. And also very rigid as well. Look at that. Now here is really something that stood out to me. Um, got my pistol here, my Glock 19. Now, and I don't think you're going to be able to tell as much on with the, you know, with the camera, but I want you to... The retention on that is almost similar to Kydex, and I've always loved Kydex for that reason, because it's so tight. But I've never... I've never had a leather holster do that. Now, there may be some out there. I'm sure there are. But that's really another selling point to me. The, the way that the retention is so precise and has that snap to it. It is just amazing. So, all right guys, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get out on the range, we're gonna do a little bit of shooting and we'll see how this thing performs. Okay guys, one last really unique design feature about this that the holster maker actually informed me of. The stiffener here, although decorative and also aids to keep the mouth of the holster open during the reholster, has one other purpose as well. Now, I'm going to show you something. So pistols empty. We have some dummy rounds. Now in any one of our, any one of our classes, uh, we always talk about the need in the event you're, say, injured and you do not have the use of your support hand. Being able to use something on your belt, your gear, the heel of your boot to re-rack the slide. Say you had a, a type 1 style malfunction, click and no bang. He informed me that he, his basically his design, and this is not something you want to do all the time, but in the event you needed it, you could catch the rear of your sight on the back of his holster and get another round in there. Absolutely very well thought out and I just wanted to prove that that actually works very well because the rigidity of this holster does stand up to it. Very cool, very nice design. All right guys, that wraps it up for today. Uh, if you're in the market for a holster that truly has all of the qualities of old world craftsmanship, the pride and the attention to detail. This is a holster for you. I've said this before, but whenever a person really takes pride in what they do, the end result shows in their work. Uh, you know, the past, say, several years, uh, 
it seems like some companies have kind of faltered in their quality. Uh, sometimes I feel a lot of it has to do with the supply and demand and meeting schedules and deadlines. But, you know, this holster here, when I look at it, I can tell that the, you know, the artist behind this took his time. Uh, he wasn't in a rush. He needed to get it right and done properly. Uh, this is definitely the result of people that really, really care about what they're doing. And, you know, their, their name's on their holster. So every time, you know, someone sees their work, it's a reflection of what they do and, and the pride they take in their work, and it shows. Uh, that's something I think some, sometimes we have sort of fallen short in a lot of uh, a lot of products that are put out on the market today. You know, and I mentioned earlier, even with some of the high-end holster companies, the, the leather holster companies, there's no way they can put the time and, and attention to detail as, say, a smaller company like this. So I just, uh, I'm just i going to post a link below uh, to take you to their website. I really recommend if you are in the market for such a holster that you give them a definite uh, once-over. Check out their products. They've got a lot of different models to, to choose from. And if you're wanting a sort of a leather with Kydex hybrid, they offer that as well. As always, guys, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the range.